Falcher, welcome. I'm Anna Wendy Stevenson. I am the programme leader for the BA Honours Applied Music with the University of the Highlands and Islands. The applied music journey over the past 10 years has seen hundreds of music students undertake voyages of musical, cultural and educational discovery with many friendships formed along the way. One of the highlights of the degree programme is the opportunity that students have to find out more about the Highlands and Islands and beyond. Through from Shetland to the Outer Hebrides, Inverness, Orkney, Perthshire, Central Belt down to Dorset and um, we do this by community engagement and with arts centres and musical organisations during our residential programme highlighting our professional friendships and uh, our community engagement. Our students have put together a series of short films with musical excerpts and with interviews, which we are touring online. We hope you enjoy. As a musician who has grown up on the island and wasn't really around before Anlanto was built, I can't imagine what a cultural background would look like without it. I participated in several concerts there with the local secondary school's concert band and was going to be performing as part of Young Fesbians on it before the events of this last year. I've also sat in the audience at a comedy show, seen a play about the suffragettes and watched the showing of the film Inception. Whether it's an annual pantomime, a rehearsal concert by the school's garlic choir in preparation for the mod, a crafts workshop or a solo interpretive dance show, if you're doing any kind of performance, it will usually be done in Anlanto. I performed at Anlanto. I feel very lucky to have got to perform there so much over my time with the BA. It's such a lovely venue and I think it's just a great atmosphere to go there and listen to everybody's recitals. And it was great to work with Mike, who's on sound there. He's a fantastic sound engineer. So yeah, um, it was lots of fun. I think it's just yeah a great place to be. I have performed at Anlanto. In fact, I did my fourth year recital at Lanto. I really enjoyed performing at Lanto. It's a, it's a very slick venue, I'd have to say. The green room's really up there. Um, you've got the cafe, you've got all these different spaces. Um, in terms of the actual performing, the, um, the auditorium in there, it's, it's, it's really well designed. Um, the in-house sound guys, um, your techs in there are totally on it and it's, um, it's really a, a nice experience, particularly with you know, doing your fourth year recital, you'd be quite nervous, it really puts you at ease and I actually really enjoyed uh, that performance, believe it or not. So yeah, I had a great experience. For a community this size, with uh, the amount of artists and musicians that we have, uh, Art Centre is imperative. It, it's opened up a lot of doors for a lot of musicians and artists on the island. And it kind of gives you um, access to um, government uh, projects or, or opens up doors that could turn your um, dream into a hobby and then turn your hobby into your passion and then um, it could turn your passion into your job like it has for me. So um, having a place like that um, is, 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 has been huge. My own experience of Hebkel is mainly of me sitting behind my mother's Harris Tweed craft stall while I can hear the music in the distance. It can even vaguely be heard in the town. Otherwise I spend my time sitting under a tree eating churros with my brother a bit away from the main crowd inside of the tent. I last went in 2017 when Doogie McClem was one of the headliners. Having been under 18 then, I am looking forward to attending the festival as an adult and being able to head to the pub with my fellow festival goers afterwards. And maybe one day I'll be on the stage. So I don't think I would be a musician or work in a studio or have followed this passion if it wasn't for Hebkelt. Hebkelt was the first festival I went to. It was the first big concert I ever saw. It was the first time I felt a large PA system. It's the first time subs went through my body. It was the first time I stood in awe watching musicians um, do what they do. They give so much support to local musicians, local businesses, 
um, it brings in a lot of money to the island, to the arts, to the shops, to the catering. You know, it brings people on the island and as soon as they see the island, they fall in love with it. The Heb Kelt was huge for Stornoway's musical community. It's huge for um, the community as a whole because there's so many businesses that are involved that benefit from it and even it's just nice for locals to have something huge like that happening every year. People want to get together and, and be a community. Yeah, as I was saying, I did my fourth year recital at Unlounted. In fact, I also performed at Hebkelt through the university in a duo with another ex-student, Christian Gamouf, which was a great experience as well. Uh, these opportunities you have to kind of jump at, they, they do come up on the degree as well. It's been brilliant, I've really benefited from those. So I have gained uh, I've made professional contact with, with these places through, through the degree, which has been of massive benefit to my career after the degree as well, making these links and, and, uh, and these contacts. Yes, yeah, since graduating, my band Aval played at Hebkelt in 2019. It was so much fun, it's such a great festival, there's you know, so much happening. And then we went and played the festival club at Unlounter, which was kind of nice to go back and play there as well over the weekend. So yeah, it was great. It was great to play there. The link between UHI and Hebkilt's a great one. Although we weren't performing as part as, as a link with the university, it still uh, was handy to be able to mention that and be able to you know come with, with that perceived pedigree from being on the degree, if you like. And, and uh, I think that's that's valid as well. You know, the degree is, is getting a reputation for churning out really good quality musicians. So. It's good to be able to, to have that that uh, notch, if you like. Hebkilt's a great festival, highly recommend it. The team are, team are great there as well, so it's um, it's good opportunities. It's a really good opportunity. Hello, my name's Bronwyn Davis, and I'm currently a third year student studying at the University of the Highlands and Islands. Um, throughout my time on this course, I have been lucky enough to attend the Stornoway Residency. At the end of the year, we all head to Stornoway, and this is where we showcase our learning and what we've done throughout the year. I went to Stornoway when I was on the HNC and again in first year, um, and it's it, it's an absolutely amazing experience. Um, and this is definitely down to places like Atlanta. Uh, they help us and allow us to use their um, facilities throughout the week. Um, this is where we see performances such as the fourth year recitals and the end of the week showcase is held there and the, the public can come and see it and it, it's really amazing and it's so nice to be able to put all your like show all your hard work um, throughout this week and um, yeah so hopefully in the future I will be one of the students who can say that they've played on the Atlanta stage um, and maybe even go on to play places such as Hebkelt Music Festival. I would love to have the experience of getting to visit Stornoway first and foremost. I've not been able to go due to the lockdown. So this year and last year, unfortunately, the travel restrictions meant we weren't able to get the same experience that everyone else has talked about. And um, you know, from everything I've heard, it's, it's such a rich and rewarding opportunity. The networking that can take place and the new styles and being able to see people perform and just getting immersed in that culture and in that community is something that I would very much like to do. Something I would love to explore, maybe working on a collaboration and you know developing my, my skill set as a performer and just the general opportunities of the partnership, the production quality of both the festival and the venue itself. All the, the videos I've seen with alumni have been fantastic. So I can't imagine what I would be able to achieve if I was to, uh, to be given the opportunity to visit there and to meet you know the community involved. Um, something I'm, I'm really excited about, so fingers crossed that next year we'll be able to uh, get stuck in and, and really see what the fuss is all about. Please pop in anytime you're passing the kettle's on. Peace.